In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make six different types of particle effects in Construct 3. Fireworks, blood splatter, smoke, a flame, rain, and a dust effect when the player jumps and lands. Okay, welcome to six different types of particle effects using Construct 3. Um, these are the six that I'm going to be going over today. We've got smoke, rain, blood splatter, dust cloud, flame, and fireworks. So I'm going to go through them one by one so you can see how they work. I'm just going to drag the ones I'm not using off the screen. First up, I'm going to go through a dust cloud. So this is quite common when a player in a platform game jumps and lands. If I double click, all I've got here is a canvas size of 8x8 eight eight, and I've just done a kind of dusty color with the corners cut off. Then over in the settings for the particle effect, we've got a rate of 10, a spray cone of 0. I've also rotated, it starts off horizontal, I've rotated it 90 degrees to the left uh, so it's pointing straight up. Spray cone of 0, a one shot, um, speed of 50, size Eight, because that's the size of the canvas. Opacity 60% because it's a kind of dust cloud, so it shouldn't be fully um, visible. Uh, zero grow rate, a uh, X randomizer of 25, so it creates some random um, placements at the bottom. No randomizing on the Y, nothing on the speed. Size randomizer of five to give it some variety. Gravity 100 because I want the particles to slowly fall um, after they've gone up. And then a speed randomizer of four. Um, and then at the bottom here we've got destroy mode, so this is how we get rid of them and they're going to fade to invisible after 0.5 seconds and there's the preview. I'm just going to go and code it in. So we just set an event for player on landed player spawn another object dust so now when we land we get a dust cloud. Next one is the blood splatter. This one is commonly used when a player gets injured and then we spawn in blood splatter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say keyboard on key pressed spacebar and we're going to spawn in the blood. So this time, when we get hit, so when I hit the space bar, we're going to spawn in the blood. So this would be as if I was getting shot by a projectile or hit by a melee attack. I could get hit and spawn in blood particles. Okay, let me show you how I put together the blood. Rate of 5, spray cone of 360 because it goes off in, a, uh, in all directions. It's just a one shot as opposed to continuous. Speed of 40, size of 8, opacity 100, grow rate 0, X randomizer 10, Y randomizer 10, size randomizer 2, and I want them to shrink as, as they go through their cycle. Uh, acceleration minus 20, gravity 0, angle randomizer 50, and they're going to fade to invisible after 0.5 seconds. Next is fireworks. So fireworks are great for kind of end of level. So let's create a sprite that I can collide with. So there it is, there's my checkered flag, I called it goal. When I collide with it, let's set the firewalk, let's set off the fireworks. Um, so our system, we're going to create them. And um, we're going to create them at a location of 288 on the X and 208 on the Y, which will put them pretty much in the middle. And there we go. Congratulations, you've completed the level. Let me show you how I made the fireworks. So I've got a canvas size here of 8x8, eight eight, and I've just gone and dotted in um, three or four different colors randomly with um, space between them. So it looks like this. 
and then on the properties I've got a rate of 50 so there's going to be 50 of them created in a spray cone of 360 so all different directions are one shot speed is fast because it's a firework size 8 because that's the size of the canvas uh, opacity 100 zero for everything else um, acceleration minus 150 speed randomizer 800 they're going to fade to invisible after one second okay next up is the rain so here's my game tower climber um, and this is the rain effect in this one i have made a 250 by 250 size canvas because it's a, a bigger screen um, with my lines going down and I've created this sprite here which is an animation just the four frames that I've placed on top of the ledges and if I preview this layer you can see I've got the rain sprite at the top and I've got another one here and another one here so they overlap as they fall and then I've got this sprite here which I overlay on the water which is basically again just a four frame so if I play this level you can see the rain falling and you can see it landing on the platforms here so it looks pretty good I think um, that's the rain effect that we're gonna do today the rain I put at the top of the scene and there it is with the preview if we look at the sprite the canvas size is 16 by 8 and I've got three different colors in lines to simulate rain falling I've got the rate 500 because we want a lot of them in in the scene um, spray cone 180 so it's a straight line you can see that by the red there um, speed 150 size 16 Opacity 26, so they're going to be quite faded out. 100 on the X randomizer, so they randomly generate all across that horizontal line there. Y randomizer 25, speed 50, size randomizer 5, acceleration 0. I've added 600 to the gravity because I want them to fall. And then angle randomizer 25, speed randomizer 800, and they're going to time out expired after one second. And that's what they look like again. Next one is smoke so with the smoke I'm just going to show you what it looks like they just kind of appear and then gradually drift off into the sky so rate is five so there's not very many of them um, spray cone is zero because it's facing directly up continuous speed 20 size 8 uh, opacity 80 grow rate 20 a little randomizer on the X and the Y and the speed and the size and the grow rate. Acceleration 5 because they're not going to be going fast. Gravity minus 5 because I want them to slowly go upwards. Angle randomizer 20, speed randomizer 100. They're going to fade to invisible after 2 seconds. I'll show you what I've done is an 8x8 square with a faded out color. So I've selected the color and I've changed the alpha down here so it's slightly opaque there and that's all I've done for that one and then the last one is the flame if I pop that on top of the flame podium hit preview you can see that it just kind of burns away there and really easy all I've done is an orange square with a slightly darker square in the middle and then over here on the properties I've got a rate of 25 a spray cone of 60 so it's going out in this you see that V shape there um, opacity 100, uh, 5 on the Y randomizer, 0 on the X because I want it to originate specifically where that dot is, right in the middle of the podium where the, the V of the red lines meet. Continuous, obviously. Um, acceleration 5, gravity 0, speed randomizer 800, fade to invisible after 0.8 seconds.